Hello friends, Kishan is here again and welcome you in this video tutorial. In previous video tutorial, we had discussed about the some of the basic concept of uh, Java JDBC result set. And in this video tutorial, we are going to discuss about the some of the more features about the uh, JDBC result set. So in this video, we are going to cover these are the three things uh, regarding uh, result set like uh, result, uh, result set types result set concurrency and result set holdability so let's go through the slide now first of all uh, when you create a result set there are three attributes you can set like result set type uh, con result set concurrency as well as result set holdability you set this already when you create the statement and prepared statement so in uh, previous video tutorial like uh, uh, in previous video tutorial like uh, we had created a lot of example right and in this example we had created uh, like uh, we have created a statement uh, in connection interface we have a method is called a statement so we have created a statement by calling first method which does not take any parameter but uh, you can see there are uh, two still overloaded method which takes two integer parameter and third uh, method which takes three uh, uh, three integer parameter so if you look into this overloaded method then saying uh, when you create a statement using this method then this takes result set type and result set concurrency and here you can uh, see result set type you can either specify these constants but if you do not specify any constants or you create a statement by using the first method that is the default one by if you do not pass any parameter so that method is also available right if you create a statement using that method then by default result set would be the type forward only so this constant is already there yeah. And if you want the result set, uh, your result set should be scrollable. Then you need to specify these are two constants you can specify: type scroll insensitive, insensitive, and type scroll sensitive. So we'll discuss what is type scroll insensitive and type scroll sensitive. But uh, on the high level, if you specify these constants, right? then your your result set would be a scroll level else your result set is only forward only only that will move into the forward you cannot uh, scroll your result sets that's the main uh, difference now you can see next uh, uh, create a statement method we have which accepts uh, sorry let me find out that one uh, create a statement which accepts three parameters so first parameter is the result set type second parameter is result set concurrency which already we have seen now third parameter in this overloaded method is saying that result set holdability and result set holdability again you can pass these two parameters uh, these two constants like hold cursors over commit or close uh, cursors uh, cursors at commit so these two the constants you can pass on uh, result set holdability. Now come to the slide and let's go through this slide. Now what I said, uh, you said this already when you create a statement or prepare a statement by passing. Uh, if you do not pass any parameter, right? So we have a in connection interface we have a method is called create a statement, which does not accept any parameter. So if you create a statement like this, uh, then uh, your uh, create a statement internally becomes like this so if you do not pass i mean result set type result set concurrency as well as result set holdability then this will take this constant as a default like uh, result set type will be taken type forward only uh, and uh, result set uh, concurrency will be taken as concur read only so your result set will be readable only you cannot update uh, using uh, if you create a result set from this statement then you cannot uh, do some updates on the database side and third constant default constant will be taken as close cursors over commit 
similarly if you create a prepare statement by calling this statement uh, by calling this method which accepts only sql query then your uh, statement would, uh, would be prepare statement will be like this this will take default value for uh, result set type as type forward only and result set concurrency concur read only and uh, result set holdability close cursors over commit so i hope you understood now next thing result set types the result set now result set types a result set can be of certain type uh, the type determines some characteristics and uh, abilities of the result set not all types are supported by the all database uh, databases and driver uh, jdbc drivers you will have to check your database and jdbc drivers to see if it supports the type you want to use uh, the database metadata uh, we have an interface is called database metadata and you have a method is called supports result set type and here you will have to uh, pass the these three constraints uh, like uh, type forward only type scroll insensitive and type scroll sensitive if this returns you true then this uh, result set type is supported by your database right so this method returns true or false depending uh, on whether the given type is supported or not the result set metadata class is uh, will cover in the uh, uh, next uh, video uh, at the time of writing there are th uh, at the time of writing uh, there are three result set types so as of now uh, i have shown you in java doc uh, there are three uh, result set types so these are the three result set type and you will have to keep in mind a uh, default uh, result set type is type forward only uh, now type forward only means that the result set can only be navigated forward uh, that is you can only move from row first to row second row uh, to row third etc right you, you can move in the only forward direction you cannot move backwards in the result set now let's talk about the type scroll insensitive type scroll insensitive means that the result set can be navigated scrolled both forward as well as backwards you can also jump to a position relative to a current positions or to jump to an absolute position the result set is insensitive uh, to changes in the underlying data source while the result set is open uh, that is if a record in the result set is changed in the database by the another thread or process it will not be reflected in, in already open result set of this type okay so your result set type is insensitive so if some other thread or some other process makes some changes on the database side and you had already opened a result set that will that changes will not be reflected now let's talk about the type scroll sensitive type scroll sensitive means uh, that that the result set can be navigated or scrolled both forward as well as backwards direction you can you can also jump to the uh, position relative to the current position or jump to an absolute position the result set is sensitive to changes in the underlying data sources while the result set is open and that is if record in the uh, result set is changed in the database by another thread or process it will be reflected uh, in already open result sets of this type okay if you specify result set type as a scroll sensitive and and you open up result set and there is any changes on the underlying database by the another thread or process then that changes will be reflected to the uh, this type of result set now uh, we'll talk about the result set concurrency uh, now the result set concurrency determines whether the result set can be updated or read only some databases and jdbc drivers support the result set is updatable but not all databases and jdbc driver do like uh, and these things you can check 
database database metadata uh, has a method is called supports results at concurrency and there you can pass these two constants if you get uh, value as a true that means uh, this feature this, this that uh, this this feature is uh, supported by the underlying database so this method returns true or false depending on the whether the given concurrency mode is supported or not a result set can have one of two concurrency level concur read only and concur updatable so if you do not pass any constant then by default default is concur read only so concur read only means that result set it result set only be read or uh, your result set only read the data from the database concur updatable means that the result set can both read and updatable right this will buffer you can read uh, the data from the database and also you can do some updation using uh, that uh, result set if you apply uh, result set concurrency concur updatable then now finally we'll talk about the result set holdability the result set holdability determines if the result set is closed when the commit method of underlying connection is called not all holdability modes are supported by all databases and JDBC drivers and these things you can check uh, by using this method supports result set holdability and here you will have to pass holdability constant like close cursors at commit and result set dot holds cursor on commit and returns true or false depending on the whether the given holdability mode is supported or not by your underlying database now there are two types of holdability result set has a two constant like close cursors at commit and result set as also another constant, constant hold cursors over commit uh, the close cursors at commit holdability means that all result set instances are closed when connection dot commit method is called on the connection that created the result set okay so once you uh, call connection dot commit then all open result set uh, will be closed the hold cursors over commit holdability means that the result set is kept open when the connection dot commit is called on the connection that created the result set and one thing you will have to keep in mind the cursors the hold cursors over commit holdability might be useful if you use the result set to update values in the database uh, thus you can open a result set update rows in it call connection dot commit still keep the same result set open for future transactions on the same rows so uh, here we'll have we talked about the result set type uh, result set concurrency and result set holdability in next video we are going to see some hands-on right these constants will these features will use by making our result set updatable and scrollable so that we can use a result set to uh, update uh, to update uh, any record on the database site or even you can insert a, a new record into the our database using by making result set uh, updatable and uh, of course you want to make your uh, result set scrollable as well as updatable then you require this concept in your jdbc so thanks for watching this video and see you next video tutorial